I am a man with a plan. Tain. Hola, hello. Patacones, tostones, plantains, call it whatever you want. A rose is a rose is a rose is a rose is a plantain. All roads lead back to Gertrude Stein, eventually. Doesn't matter what you call them, this is still the same thing. A plantain is not a banana. It is in the banana family. It is cousin of a banana. But if you eat one of these bad boys raw, you're gonna have a bad time. We're gonna make some fried plantain chips or patacones as I say in Colombia today. And it's very, very, very simple. In fact, it's so simple and so quick, we might only need to do this in one shot. So, Sherry, this might be your lucky day. Sherry's our editor. So you wanna start with a plantain, green-ish plantain. You don't, you don't wanna to go too green because then it's hard to peel them. These are obviously very carb heavy, which means they're very starchy, so they might be a little tough to work with. You're gonna need some good old canola oil. Canola just means Canadian oil. Ola coming from the old Latin for oil. I believe it's rapeseed. They renamed it canola. You're gonna need salt. This meshy thing, very meshy, extremely meshy. Your knife, cutting board, and then you wanna have some sort of tray lined with paper towels. Look, I got paper towels! to drain. Before we start working with this, let's just heat up our oil. Now, if you're a normal person cooking for multiple people, you're gonna use more oil in a bigger pot than this. This might be too small. While that heats up, you wanna prepare your plantain. Just cut off the sides like that. And very carefully, imagine you're trying to open up a, I don't know, an avocado. Let me just do that. Ta-da! Cut it. That's enough. That's enough for our purposes. I'm only demonstrating to you guys. And besides, I'm gonna eat all of these myself. So obviously another way of cooking plantains is when you get more mature ones, they're kind of turning brown and those you can put in the oven and those you can also fry the way we're gonna fry them. But right now, we're gonna do patacones. While this heats up, we wait. You may have noticed I have this bottle of Great Papon! We're not going to be using any mustard at all, uh, but we will be using the bottle or any other heavy-ish thing with like a flat bottom that you're going to... You'll see! Just watch! It is very hot today. Oil always takes so long to heat up. By the way, the smoke point of canola oil is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. After 400 degrees, it starts to get smoky. Olive oil is much, much lower, which is why you don't fry things with olive oil unless you want your house looking like Snoop Dogg's vacation month. I didn't explain what I just said. I just threw in a few drops of water into the oil to see if it was ready. You hear that? This is my favorite treat growing up. Again, when you grow up and you hear, oh, your grandma's making plantains, or there's, you think they're the special, crazy, hard, difficult thing to do. Well, no, it's one and a half step. To have you. It's fried, but you have to fry it twice. It's easy. That is ready. Let's just drop them in there. The first one might get a little ugly. The first one's always a sacrifice. They're always edible, usually, but I think I've said this before. There's something about being the first thing dropped into the oil that kind of like sets the oil, tempers the oil, makes it ready, it lets the oil know that, hey, this is what's going to be happening for the foreseeable future. It kind of like jump starts the frying process. So the first one's never, never pretty. That being said, I put that in there way too soon. Patacones. My favorite way to eat them is obviously you have to put salt on them. Sliced, small little sliced like Roma tomatoes. And some white onion and lime. Woo! Just taking a long time. As per usual. Alright, see, there we go. Now it's frying. Let's stick another one in there. So the way to make plantains, it's a, it's a two-step frying process. You fry them once when they're this shape, until they're kind of golden, until they're the color of the mustard, kind of. You take them out, you squeeze them, you flatten them out, and then you fry them again to make them crispy. And that's it, and then you enjoy. And then everybody fawns over you going, oh, wow, well, how do you do that? I'm like, well, it's simple. We're frying on a Saturday. Hi. So I have a white one, a white apron. I put it in the wash with some like neon yellow washcloths and now the apron is like a neon green. Does this have a name? 
almost. You don't want to brown them too much, then they will burn. BTW. The color of corn. He's look about done. So look at this color. This is the color you want. Como un bollo de mazorca. What's that in English? I don't know, like corn? Like a cornbread color? I've seen dark cornbreads. I don't know, just make them yellow. Yellow like the oil that they're bathing in. Guantanamera. Oh man, these remind me of my childhood. Annette? Would you call this Annette? Annette Benny? E. So while that does that, let's do this. Just gonna squeeze it. This is what you want. And these are gonna go back in there. To finish half. Obviously be very careful, these things get very hot. It is hot oil. Yeah, see look, the color of car. Once you have the last of those, drop these back in there. So nice, they're fried them twice. Mm. Huh. Woo! That's it. We've done one shot. We have done one shot, we haven't broken once. Now, the second they come off the heat, actually, you wanna just salt them. I mean, it takes a lot of salt to put too much salt on these bad boys. Unfortunately, like McDonald's french fries, these have to be served hot. They don't reheat well, they don't keep very well because of the starch, it just gets a... That just means you have gotta eat them quick and fresh. It's a carb. It's a carb. It's a, it's a heavy duty carb. Gold. Last one. Kosher salt. How delightful. The, the more you make them, like within the same batch, they're gonna get darker and darker and darker, but that's just the oil getting dirtier and dirtier and dirtier, so it's fine. It's not, they're not actually burning, it's just the, the oil has some more, um, more things to say. The Capulets and the Plantagenets, right? That's Romeo and Juliet or some shit like that. All right, that's it. I see for it. Turn this off. Edit.